All right, family, what's good? I'm, uh, I'm home a little early today, so I figure I'll shoot this video now while this, this shit is still fresh on my mind. IOBA, Institute of Black Awareness, UMTC. So check it. Did y'all see the State of the Union speech the other night? Because if you did, and you was able to sit through all of it, then you know that Donald Trump gave an award to one of the most racist people this country ever produced. He gave the Presidential Medal of Freedom to none other than pig-ass Rush Limbaugh. I started checking out Rush Limbaugh ass back in the 90s, right? I used to work on this machine where I was all by myself. And, you know, it was the type of operation where I could listen to the radio while I did my work. And I'd have it on an AM station because I couldn't stand the commercials and the idiot music and shit like that, you know, coming out of the regular radio stations. So I listen to talk radio. And um, I didn't really know who this white man was. But he talked. He sounded like he had a mouthful of food. I, I just, you know. But I'm going to tell you the truth. It's what got me back into being a community activist. Because of the backward crazy shit that Rush used to say. And this was back when... When Clarence Thomas was trying to get on the Supreme Court and they was in there trashing Anita Hill, that um, clerk that used to work in his office, she a law professor now, but she was a law clerk back then, I think. Anyway, he was sexually harassing her and saying all kind of fucked up shit to her. And Rush Limbaugh used to get on the radio every day and talk a bunch of right wing bullshit and uh, trash Anita Hill. And he trashed everybody black. But by now, everybody in the world know who this motherfucker is. I ain't got. It. But anyway, I was. I, I started listening to him back then. Excuse me. And this asshole. I don't know. He just get me fired up. But I check it out every day just so I know. Just so I know how pissed off to be. Now I already was, you know, aware and all of that of, of the what type of world I lived in. But this motherfucker would confirm that shit every day. And I don't even have to tell people how Rush Limbaugh felt about Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Because those was his favorite motherfucking uh, subjects for eight years. He never talked about how he got caught up in that motherfucking prescription drug scandal. He don't talk about that. But he loved to talk about how Eric Garner and other people killed by the police had it coming somehow. He was one of them, he was, everybody know what a fucking asshole Rush Limbaugh is. But President Obama, uh, President Obama, right, President Donald Trump gave this motherfucker this, this freedom award. Freedom for who? He, only freedom Rush Limbaugh ever generated was making crackers be free to be crackers. I guess that's what he's talking about, isn't it? But yeah, see, these are the reasons why this motherfucker got to go. A lot of people, a lot of black people think that shit, <clears throat> shit can't get any worse for us if he stay in office. It's like, what they're going to do to me that I haven't already done? What more can they take from black people? Your life. You know, your life. That's about the lowest it can go. That's the most they can take is your life. They 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 can take away and in and on the way to taking your life, they could take your freedom. They could take your culture. They could take your dignity. They could take a whole bunch of things. Your property. Your history. Your culture. They could take all of these things from you on the way to taking your life. 
And I, I like, I, like I said, uh, if I didn't say it before in my earlier video, I'm going to say it now. They're going to reduce black people, or they're trying to reduce black people to the level of the Palestinians over in Israel. That's what it feels like to me anyway. That's what that shit feel like to me. And that's Donald Trump and people like Rush Limbaugh. That's what the fuck they... That's what they seem to be their ultimate objective. You know? So when motherfuckers talk that shit about leaving him in the White House, I don't know. I think he got to fucking go. He's got to go. I mean, even I said it a couple of times that, you know, how much worse can it get? But the more I think about it, the more I realize it can get a lot worse for... Um, ADOS people. And I already spoke on how they tried to cheat Sanders coming out of Iowa. Because the Democrats ain't no fucking better. They're really not. But like I said. In order to change the system. In order to change a system like this. You either got to be willing to go to war and spill a whole bunch of blood. Or you got to fight that system from within, little by little. Like Bob Molly said, there's work to be done, so let's do it little by little. So, that's the only thing, that's the only thing we can do. And we start that by getting our, getting our people elected. A lot of motherfuckers like, I don't want to say a lot, but people been coming out, right, with uh, with uh, things about Sanders that, you know, Bernie Sanders that they, you know, I think are giving as reasons to not vote for him. But in my view, who the fuck else you going to vote for? It'll be another stay home year. And we'd be using our power the wrong way. We'll be using our power to put Donald Trump back in office by staying home. Because like I said yesterday, Donald Trump definitely trying to get that black vote. He's actively trying to get it. He's talking a bunch of fake numbers and fake statistics and bullshit rhetoric and lies that will form gullible or make gullible niggas vote for him. But he's trying to get that black vote. Democrats ain't even fucking trying. If we stay home all together, Donald Trump wins the election. Y'all do know that. That's the power we have. If we come out and we get behind somebody, then we use our power effectively. And as you know, power concedes nothing. You have to you have to take that shit. You have to meet power with power. And we have that. But we gotta use it wisely. And I think I think that boot edge edge and Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar are all motherfucking non-starters for me. Because they ain't about to change shit. I mean, absolutely nothing they're going to change. Now, the plight of black people under uh, um, under Bernie Sanders' presidency will have... We'll have more of an ability to change our plight because some of our freedoms will be restored or we'll be freer to pursue our own agenda. You understand what I'm saying? But if you let a motherfucker like Donald Trump sit there for more years, he's going to clamp down stronger on every motherfucking body who ain't white in this country. First, he's going to get rid of all the motherfucking immigrants and black immigrants especially. So he can thin the herd. Then he going to start coming down on ADOS people like never before. And marginalize us to, the, to even further. And further until we become non-citizens in our own fucking country. With a bunch of locked up niggas and clamped down niggas and all of that other shit. You know, all the shit that goes with that. That's what's going to happen. If we get somebody in there 
under whose administration we can we can work. Because that motherfucker is not going to give us anything either, but we can work. Well, then I think overall we'd be better off. And to me, a Sanders presidency does that. Now, I'm going to say this again. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. My age group, my demographic, health care is a major fucking concern for me. But so I, that's why I think Medicare for all is a, is a good is a good uh, program to get behind. I like the fact that the motherfucker ain't changed his goddamn rhetoric since the 1980s, since he first started coming into public life. Now, this thing they said he said about he complimented George Wallace or said some shit nice about George Wallace. I'm not even going to research that shit because I don't give a fuck. I do remember George Wallace, who he was, what happened, all of that. I remember all that. I mean, I'm not just going from the news. I remember that shit. You know, I was a kid, but I remember. I knew what the fuck George, who George Wallace was. And if Bernie Sanders said something complimentary towards that motherfucker, I'm not digging that fucking deep to find it. You know what I'm saying? Um, fuck, Martin Luther King said some things I don't agree with too. But I'm never going to fucking... If, if he were here today running for president, I wouldn't let that be a reason for me to not vote for him. Um, yeah, and you find me one politician who ain't said something kind of fucked up back in the day, or, yeah, back in the day that you really find distasteful, and it cancels out all the other shit that he say, he or she says, unless they got a, unless they show a pattern of that type of shit, like Hillary Clinton, like Joe Biden. So that's what I have to say about that shit. So I'm not even going to fuck with that. I'm going to stay on this where we're at right here, right now. Now, I know about the black agenda, and I know that we have to fight for what we have coming to us and what we're supposed to get and what's honest and what's right for American black people, for American descendants of slavery, for foundational black Americans. I understand that perfectly well. I also understand that for myself, I think on a global, from a global perspective, and the whole world matters to me. And if these motherfuckers' policies are going to set the whole world on fire, we're all screwed. If you're going to get all of these right-wing Corporate motherfuckers in office who just gonna destroy the fucking world for the sake of a fucking dollar. Well, don't none of us get nothing. So we gotta fight to save this fucking planet that we live on. We gotta fight to do that. So we gotta go with things like renewable energy. And we gotta move on away from fossil fuels and things of that nature that are tearing the, the, the whole world apart. We got to get away from this war motherfucking uh, stance that we on all the time. All the fucking time. We got to move on beyond that. Because that don't just kill white people and brown people and yellow people. It kill a fuck of a lot of black people. We got to move on beyond that. And as the United States goes, I'm sorry, so goes the fucking world. So goes the world. People might not want it to be like that, but that's how the fuck it is. That's why you're getting right-wing governments all over the place. Because you got a right-wing motherfucking government in the United States. And you see what's happening with this unregulated capitalism. It's just tearing the fucking world apart. And we got to move beyond that. And the only way to move beyond that is to actually fucking do it. Nobody wants to do that. And so I'm thinking from that standpoint as well as the black agenda. But there's something bigger than our agenda, and that's a global agenda, a world agenda, where we try to save this fucking place so we all have somewhere to live and build a future on. So that's how I'm thinking, y'all. That's how I'm thinking, and to me that's, that, that makes the most sense. 
you know, listen to all, follow none, and take the path that make the most motherfucking sense. You feel me? Don't get caught up in these bullshit arguments about about what somebody may have said about somebody you dislike from 50 fucking years ago. Check it. I listened to a guy talk about that the other day. And they didn't, they started, try, I guess they was trying to let everybody know what a fucked up person George Wallace was. When they was talking about uh, um, Bernie Sanders may have said something complimentary toward George Wallace. Fuck I give a fuck about that for. Goddamn Hillary Clinton was a gold water girl. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit about that. I'm talking about what's happening right now. The world is on fire. We're getting, dri- we as black Americans and black people the world over are getting driven further and further down the fucking social scale if you can go down any further. You know what I'm saying? Societies are being ripped apart from the inside out because of unchecked capitalism. All this shit got to turn around. These wars got to stop. All this shit got to turn around. And it's all got to start right here in the United States. Because, I don't know, that's where everybody seems to be taking their cues from. But anyway, I'm not going to ramble on anymore about that. I'm going to go ahead and close out because my video has been running a little long. But y'all get what I'm saying. Donald Trump got to fucking go. And everybody like him got to go too. And we can't put nobody in that motherfucking White House with that same kind of fucked up ass agenda as Donald Trump. And that includes them fucking um, <clears throat> moderate Democrats. That includes the moderate Democrats. They can't be there either. You can't. You got to let that pendulum swing clean back the other way. With that, I'm going to be out. I got a little work to do. All right? I'm going to holler at y'all later. TC, and I'm out.